one of the things that's always made me very proud to be a gamer is to see how often, with over like the past decade or so, how often that charitable organizations were able to go and accumulate a large sum of money for the great causes that they've been striving and working towards, all thanks to gaming. Gaming, whether it was tournaments or auctions or giveaways or marathons, just all sorts of things, and there's a lot of them out there that happen every single year, have been able to go and really drive point to home that gaming has done a lot of good. And again, we're going to see something like that all thanks to the people at Red Cross. As a matter of fact, it's going to be the Red Cross in Sweden. They decided that they are going to take their charity donation boxes that they had in two of their major airports in Stockholm and uh, Gittenbori, uh, Gittenbori. I always forget how to pronounce that because it's kind of difficult to pronounce because I don't speak Swedish, but I'm trying. But either way, so two major airports there, they have Red Cross donation boxes. They've turned these into arcade machines. So we got Galaga, Space Invaders, and Miss Pac-Man. And these will take any kind of currency at all. Doesn't matter if it's foreign, just so long as it's coin and toss it in and you can go and play arcade games all the while doing some good. And I thought this was a really interesting idea and I liked it a lot because there's people who have layovers for hours and hours on and not, not to mention the fact that there's tons of times where it gets delayed for an entire day. So people are just stuck at the airport. And then there's folks who show up late, there's folks who show up early, and then a bunch of people that work there. To go and have those arcade machines there, I think this is a great idea and something I wanna see expanded on. Figure if the Red Cross and Sweden decide to go and do this, what's to stop it from doing it in all sorts of other countries in Europe and maybe in Australia and then here in North America and Canada. Uh, no, the United States and Canada, you get the idea. But I like the idea of this happening because, I, I mean, we got those three arcade machines. I would love to see them really put limelight on this because not only is this good for gaming in general, but it's really good to go and put a lot of focus on a cause like the Red Cross. Most people, they'll go and donate to the Red Cross, but they don't realize where is the money all going towards. And it'd be a good way to emphasize all the points that they're really trying to go and make that this is for a great good, but also educate people on a whole bunch of stuff about such organizations. And then, naturally, gaming can use all the good press they can get. We already fucking know that, considering that there's tons of times where it's getting thrown under the bus and ran the fuck over, and it's really frustrating and annoying, and especially when stuff like this is never getting any sort of major press, because, you know, what is there to go and gain from that, except for the fact that, obviously, there's plenty to gain, because it's going towards a good cause. People. You know, people in need. So that's what I'm hoping to see from this. In the description, I'm going to post links to everything about this from the news story to the actual video uh, showcasing this for the airports, as well as to the Red Cross if you were not familiar with it. So there you go, you got all those. And what I can say is this, this is good news, it makes me happy. It's one of those things that I would have thought of that idea and they did. And it's kind of hard to ignore, again, look at the success that gaming has had for doing a greater good, why not apply it to a whole bunch of other things out there? I mean, I think it'd be cool if you were just an airport kid was bored, tossing a couple coins, there you go. Now a kid is being exposed to the old school gaming, you know, arcade scene that people have grown up in in the 70s and 80s, and that's how they went about gaming all the time And when there wasn't a whole bunch of consoles at home or PCs at home to go and play games on for people. They went to arcades, and I, I'd love to see every single major arcade at least have one of these machines there. I just think it would be really cool and really interesting for them to do it. Just imagine barcades with a, at least a couple of these machines there. It would be awesome as hell. So I'm hoping that this idea ends up going further and this gets out there. I think this is something worth sharing and telling people about. So. Like I said, all the links are in the description. Go and tell anybody that you can about it if you do give a damn to all the folks over in Sweden. You know, fuck yeah. If you get the, if you actually have checked out one of these before, please definitely leave a comment saying so. Ideas for something like that. I'd be all for House of the Dead money going towards some kind of charitable organization out there. I think that'd be awesome as shit. It's like... <laughs> We're meeting G over there. And then you're just like... And then just, you know, money towards charity. Fuck 
yeah, that's awesome. So, I, and especially the first house I did, because I plunked down tons of money into that. So, there. So, all the other arcade manufacturers out there, you know, whether it's Namco or Sega or whoever, I hope that you're listening. Midway, again, hope that you're listening. Expand upon this idea of Red Cross from every other country out there, and continent, anywhere. You know, definitely heed the words of this, because I think this will be a killer-ass idea, and there's a lot of people that will be behind it. So anyway, this is Alpha Omega Sin. As always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers, game the fuck on.